Hi guys, welcome to SWK Tutorials. Today I will be teaching you guys how to model a fork using reference images. The first thing that we have to do when we are using reference images is that we have to check our references for sizes. What do I mean by this? Let me just explain you. The first thing that I have to do to check reference images is that press Ctrl R on your keyboard. Make sure this line is here and this line is at the end here. Next, input your other image, Ctrl A and make sure it's in the center, Ctrl D. Now, if you can see in my previous image, the spoon is that much big, but my side image, it's not equal size so what i have to do is that i have to go to free transform and then i have to increase it like this and press enter now both of my reference plane the side plane and the top plane are of equal ratio save them and import them in maya okay guys the next thing that I will do is to set my viewport. I need three viewports. Right click. I can click here, three panes split left, or I can go to edit layout, edit layout, three panes split left, close it. I need top viewport here and side viewport here. Now I will import my reference images. Go to view, import, import image, import top. Again, go to your side viewport, view, import image plane, import image, import side image. Press off F on the keyboard. Now I will select it, move it slightly back here and slightly up. If you guys can see my side image is okay, but my top image is not okay. So I will select my top image, go to channel, select rotate and start rotating, rotating it. Type 90 here. Now both side viewport and my top viewport is okay. Slightly take it back like this. Now the next step is that I always select my reference images, press Ctrl A on the keyboard, slightly decrease their opacity so that I can easily see them in the viewport. And now I will click looking through camera. In this way, I cannot see it in the perspective, but I can see it in the top. The same way I will select this, slightly decrease its brightness and click looking through camera. Next step, I will select both of them, go to my channel layer and I will put them in a layer. And reference it so that I cannot accidentally move them. I don't want grid, so I will remove them too. These are the basic steps that I always do whenever I am creating a model from reference images. It can be a car or plane, whatever it is. Okay guys, if you see here, I cannot see my reference image. So I will go to shading and click on X-ray. Here I will again do the same thing. By turning on the X-ray, I can see my reference image as well as my object. Okay guys, 
for reference modeling this thing is very important that i am about to tell you if you are doing reference modeling if you have just manipulated vertex or edge on one reference image quickly go to the second reference image and adjust it I have seen a lot of students doing this mistake. They actually adjust the object from one reference image and leave it on the other. Never do this. If you just work on these vertex, so quickly go to the other viewport and set them here. Like this. Select these faces. Now I want to extend it. Go to extrude and click on extrude. What extrude will do? It will grow your mesh like this. And I will place it somewhere here at an extreme change. You can see that this is the part where I'm getting the extreme change. So I will come here and now I will go into my other view and I'm going to adjust it like this. I'm not going to worry about this curve too much right now. Again, I will click on extrude and I will grow it like this. This time I will stop here because if you can see that this is the part where the change is happening. So I will set it here like this and in this view, I will also set it like this. Next, I can do like this, use the shortcut key control E or I can use shift, right click, exclude face. It's up to you whichever method you use. Now again, I will go up like this and I will look for the extreme point. This is the extreme point that I can see. I will increase it like this. Next, I will go to this view and I will set it here. Again, select the face, shift right click, exclude face and go for the extreme point. Okay guys, now I have to work on two parts. I have to work here and I have to work here. For this part, I have to exclude these four faces, but it is actually one face right now. So I need a way to insert lines here. Plus, if you look here, I need a line here too. So. To insert a line, I will go to my mesh tool and click on insert edge loop. Now again, I will be looking for the points, points of extreme change. One is here. Press F on the keyboard, move from it here too. slightly in it more like this. Okay guys, now I am happy till here. For this part, insert edge loop tool, insert an edge here, insert an edge here, an edge here, an edge here. Keep them inserting like this. Now I have successfully divided this one face into different faces. I will select four of these. Shift, right click, exclude, face. And I will move it forward like this. If you can see my excluded mesh is uh, more in width as compared to my reference image. So, I need to scale them down. 
in my x axis okay remember this thing make sure you are in your extrude face mode i have just pressed the plus on the keyboard numpad to make it large do not select the arrow make sure you have selected the red box for the x to scale and scale it like this it will scale all of them at once otherwise you have to scale all of them separately i'm just trying to i'm just looking here and moving it from these arrows and trying to make it equal in one size now i know all of them are in perfect size i will now go to my vertex select it move it here like this move it here like this and this one like this next i will go to my side view select it and move it up like this press f on the keyboard since i know it is on curve it is curving so i will make it like this next guys i need an edge here again i will go here click on insert edge loop tool and i will click here the problem that right now i am facing is that insert edge loop tool is only inserting at this one for this i have to click here i have to click here and i have to click here now you can see that i'm seeing too many lines or you can say they all are not equal ratio they have different distances so there is a better way to do it i hope you have understand the problem you can work it like this too but i will recommend not to do it if you want to divide all of these four equally so just simply undo it go to your object mode now instead of using your insert edge loop tool use your multi cut tool just left click here and drag it don't release your left click and when you release it you will get a line go to your vertex and simply scale them down like this move them down like this object go to multi cut tool move it like this now go to your vertex mode decrease it little bit like this hopefully guys this is easy now i have made this part too now i will go to the top part i have to make this part curve to select all of them i will click here shift double click and all of these faces are selected now i will extrude them but before extruding i will recommend you guys to do one thing go to your vertex and just simply play with their distances whenever you are modeling try that these lines have equal distances if you want to do something curvy what do i mean just look here in a few minutes you will understand what do i mean i try to make these distances as equal as i can now again face shift right click extrude go to your vertex and control drag to release them or unselect your vertex same thing here uh, it's better if you do it little bit here not too much it's not necessary to do it completely okay guys did you notice i just made a mistake i have just work on this part and i haven't made it correct so i have to made it perfect now i will just do it like this
next if you can see this part again i have to insert an edge for insert edge loop tool instead of going or and doing it like this i can simply shift right click and insert edge loop tool from here again shift right click insert edge loop tool here since i have inserted two edges i will quickly go here and i will just adjust my these new edges this part is a little bit inside so i will insert an edge here press f on the keyboard come here and look at this part does it need to go down no it's okay like this again like this here it's okay from this part too again at this part it's need to go a little bit inside like this if you want to take it little bit up you can do it like this but i will recommend just leave it like this it will give us a smooth shape now guys i will press 3 on my keyboard on pressing 3 you can see that this part is too much curve i need to stop this curve so how can i do this press 1 on the keyboard first if you want your object not to smooth too much like this part i will press 3 here see it's smoothing too much i don't want it to be that much smooth so what i have to do i have to insert an edge between these edges reason when you press 3 on the keyboard or apply smooth on an object object look for the edges the closer the edges the sharper the shape and vice versa so to stop this smoothness i will go here and insert edge in an edge here now i will press 3 on the keyboard and you can see it's not that much smooth so i am happy with my shape till now only thing that i like i don't like is this part i will press f on the keyboard i will quickly go here and i will press 1 on my keyboard now i will again use the multi cut tool because i have to insert a line on all of these four slightly give it a little bit shape like this and now if i press 3 on the keyboard you can see my object now you can look at its smoothness its curves all these things I have made this tutorial for the beginners if you like this tutorial give it a like if you love it subscribe to my channel and keep creating guys